What's up guys, welcome back. Griffith from Berserk. I've drawn Guts, I think, twice, but I thought um, I'd give Griffith a go. Hard to find like a standard sort of image of him. I couldn't, I, he's like always in a hard sort of pose. So I thought I'd do a profile one of them. It's the best one I could find. There's lots of images, but just, I want to start with kind of a more straightforward sort of one. So I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So the characters in profile, I like to start with the nose it's kind of a simple shape it's kind of like a seven or an l just to get us started right so center point of my page here just come up over to the left a little bit head is over to the left hand side and then what we'll do is go out for his nose like so and it kind of like curves back in so it's kind of like a seven See, this sort of shape, right? And his nostril will be just here. Seven, upside down seven or an L. And then his brow kind of curves out this way. So you start to make it look kind of like a Z or something. That way. So, you know where the brow is, just here, so that means his eyebrow is just across, right? So his eyebrows are drawn in sort of, we'll do it manga style, because I am drawing it from a manga image, so they're just drawn in like this, just these sorts of lines, like. Like that, right? There's no great um, shape to them or anything, it's just sketchy pencil lines. And then just below we'll do his eyelids, so it just curves across, back like that, and he's down maybe at the front. You just thicken this up, so it adds some extra lines to it, some extra weight. And then eyelashes, there's quite a few eyelashes, right, so he does. He gives Griffith a lot of quite feminine eyes, quite feminine features. Bottom eyelid then, sort of go just diagonal here, go around the bottom, and then go just down a little bit here. And then we have an extra line Coming down this way, and some eyelashes sticking off here. And there's actually eyelashes drawn in here as well. Like that. So then his iris, kind of like just an ellipse sort of line. Now in the picture I'm drawn from, there's no eye, like there's no pupil, should I say, um, but I'm gonna give him one. So just like coming down, I'm gonna give him one of those cats, like cat-like thin eyes. Kind of like that thin sort of pupil. Because I've seen it done like that in the anime and stuff. Okay. So we'll go over now and do the rest of his face. So coming down from his nose, we have his lip that sticks out. Top lip, right? And the lips on the side of the face, they look like a letter M. So the bottom lip will go down that way. See, it's like an M sort of here. And the line for the mouth is just drawn in here then. shadow underneath bottom lip maybe like a top lip line or something here then from the bottom lip curves out for the chin which curves back in and this goes down around all the way to his neck so it goes this way here it curves down for his neck like that 
his jawline is just lightly shaded and slightly drawn in here, right? So this will like eventually go up to his ear, but there's like a lot of hair covering it and stuff. So we'll just draw sort of what we can see like that. And then the rest is kind of like these long bits of hair, right? So like, like curves down this way. And so you can erase anything you go over. And so he's got these really long sideburn type of things, it seems. And there's all details inside this, but we'll just draw it in like this first. Kind of like that, all right? And then fringe and hair coming all around here as well. Oh yeah, and the ear. So we can just see a little bit of the ear in this gap. So there's a gap here. Just the ear line, just there, and then fringe that goes around here, right? See, it's all hair spikes drawn in like this, and there's lots of texture lines now. I'll do some, I won't do all, because that would take a crazy amount of time. Just these hair spikes coming around the features of his face, okay? This one actually comes over his eyebrow a little bit and towards his eye. Raise anything you draw over. I think there's a little like eyelid line or something here actually. And then we'll keep going. and like again there's like there's lots of texture inside all these and it's totally optional how much of that you want to do so this just kind of bumps around the back of his head right so it'll go This way eventually it goes down off the page there's all these feathers but i'll just i'll draw it in and we can erase anything that we don't need so his hair is kind of like a cloud my right, hair goes all off that way and there's all details inside here like his armor and all that kind of stuff but i'll just i'll add some more some a slight amount of texture just onto his hair here Right, and then what to do next? 
So he's more hair that comes out from behind his head this way. It's a real long hair. It comes out from behind armor. Right, so this is all hair and then there's armor in here. So we'll add, I'll add some texture just to this. Okay, so I guess we'll do the armor and then finish the hair that's because the the armor is in behind the hair. So I need to look at like two images for this because some of it is covered. Okay, so we got these like big wings that come out here, right? So he's got like a, something bolting it on here. And then this will go scoop up this way. There's a big feather that goes out off here. And if you go over any hair, you can just erase. Because you should be doing this with pencil. All right, so feather there. And there's like three or four layers of these. So we just will do the big ones first. This, and this goes down this way. Another one, throw them out. Go there. And this is where things disappear on me because they ha he. This is from the manga, I think, and he he does this like effect of spirits coming across. So it's like stuff kind of disappears. So. Um, I think there's one that like becomes his shoulder then. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess, right? So I guess that this becomes shoulder here. So I'm guessing this now, so bear with me. So this meets the next layer of feathers as well. So that goes that way. And there's like some texture on it or something there. Back of his arm so it goes this way. Right, so then I'll add the next layer of feathers and we'll kind of make a bit more sense here. So we've got like feathers going up all here. going around this way. And like that, and they'll have like the lines going up here. Okay, and then we have some more up here. And then the next layer starts. Again, they disappear here. So I'm gonna just, just gonna bring this layer the whole way down to here, basically. And we'll see how we go. So each, so this will go into the previous one here, right? So this is what you want to be aiming for, right? So like this kind of thing, right? So you gotta have up the middle, right? And there's actually lines coming down these as well. Okay, and then we'll do another one here. And then another one 
here and I'll let, I'll let this one go long because that's where the next layer starts then here. I'm just going down off my page. All right, and I think this layer then, so we'll have that layer goes long up to there. And then it kind of joins the shoulder layer, right? So we go, we step up a little bit, right? So there's a, well, there's a layer in line with this first. Right, like that. And then this has lines coming up. There's actually a circle here. Lines coming up that way. And then we need this second layer. So, boom. Boom. So this should go like into the tip of that one. And this goes that way. And this will go up here. And there's another one. To that way. like this okay sort of that kind of thing armor like that and then I guess you should see some more armor kind of going off down this way okay right so that's tricky so try and do that so shoulder and the feather armor pause it there if you need to so we, we have another sort of winged shape coming up here a gold one that's sitting on his chest so it like comes up here, similar sort of situation. So comes up, and then you got like just these feathered lines. Coming down here. Drawn like so. And then this sort of top line broken up. Bring these feathers further. And then like hair here. This is all hair in here. And so then there's all texture here. I might as well do that now. So lots of sort of hair texture. This wavy stuff. This is his shoulder, shoulder armor, I think, going this way. So like lines of shoulder armor here. And then lots of wavy hairlines. Lots of that kind of stuff. And that's just all white hair. Right, so then his collar of his armor kind of just comes out the front here. Comes down, back that way. Another layer here. And these metal plates that just come across his chest top of his chest and his neck. And then another one kicking out this way. And then this goes down to a V. 
And then this has like feather lines here as well. This is like the center line for his chest. And that means the other side of his hair is just like here. Wavy hair texture lines. Lots of them then just going off this way. And then just a little bit more armor, just like inside here. So he has like a cloak or something here with like a button, some like fold lines coming around it. And then there's like a bit more feather armor there. Like center line for his chest, they go down that way. There, let's go up. That. Right, and that is basically that. That is how to draw Griffith from Berserk. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.